So if you look at the epidemiologic uh, numbers a decade ago, that was a publication when there was a conference uh, in 2006. In France, it was like TB, uh, tuberculosis, around 900,000 inhabitants. Alsace, it's close to Germany much more. Germany, it was higher. Sweden, it was higher. I didn't have uh, numbers about Norway, but probably it was close to Sweden. England, uh, very few, and USA, it was like France. But now we observe that there is a high increase, I will show the numbers of incidents in Europe, and it's official. Despite the lack of improved diagnostic tests, because the tests today are the same. But I think that the physicians now think much more about it than 10 years ago. Uh, because when I discuss with my patients, with my colleagues, uh, GPs, the, most of them didn't know even the name of the disease 10 years ago in France. And when uh, a patient came with a, a magazine, said, oh, look, there's a, an article about Lyme disease. Here you know, is a red circle. I, I had that uh, last year. I think I have Lyme disease. So the physician said, what, Lyme disease? I don't know. Or, oh, yes, it's a very rare disease in the US, but we have not that in France. But now I think they, they change their mind. They have also ecological changes, and uh, when I discuss with people and veterinarians working in the field, they say that much more uh, wild uh, animals in the forest, less hunters, more deers uh, going in, uh, on the lawns uh, near the houses in some places. People go in the forest for many uh, sport activities. So now we have official numbers published by the Institut Veille Sanitaire, it's a small French CDC. Uh, we have the numbers for 2011. I told you it was nine uh, for 100,000 a decade ago. Now they acknowledge 43. So, but uh, some colleagues at the National Reference Center said it was written, uh, I saw that on the internet a few days ago. There is no increase of Lyme disease in France. I, I think, I, think uh, I should buy some glasses for some people. <laughs> Uh, so the incidence is not uh, homogeneous. There are high incidence, high incidence regions, Alsace near Germany and uh, Meuse near Belgium, uh, intermediate regions, and uh, so as in other countries. So I looked in the uh, recent literature in Eurosurveillance. It's a, a paper made by different uh, investigators from different European countries. Uh, it's an official publication, and uh, what I saw is really uh, interesting. They say, it uh, took just a small words from the publication, accurate description is impossible. Good. No plan to monitor at the European level. Fantastic. Non-standardized case criteria. Oh. Uncoordinated system of data collection. Wow. Clinically diagnosed cases, including ethema migrants, and they are not reported, okay. Criteria for serology not standardized, oh, I did not know that. And great heterogeneity, so that's what's published officially in Europe. <laughs> but there, <laughs> But there is no problem. So, uh, if we look at the data, <clears throat> the incidents range from one case for 100,000 to 350. I think the country is one case, I'm not sure of the data, but I will check one day. Uh, so you have some hotspots. I, I was in Germany recently, it's uh, very dangerous. Uh, here, uh, there is no Norway, but uh, southern Sweden, Estonian, Finnish islands, it's not far from here, the Baltic coastline, so maybe it's very dangerous here also. So, uh, as you know, in August 2013, the CDC of Atlanta said that there was a tenfold increase of incidence of Lyme disease now in the USA. Instead of uh, 30,000 cases per year, now it's 3,000 cases per year. And uh, it is acknowledged now that Lyme disease is a tremendous public health problem. Uh, so, when we ask in France to the experts, they say, oh no, because it's uh, 30,000 cases during 10 years, so if you multiply 30 by 10, it's 300, look, it's the same. That was said to the, some journalists by some experts. 
and uh, the same thing was said in, I think, as the Belgian television recently. There is no move. It's, uh, there was 30 per year, three, five, 300. Uh, they have a license of mathematics, and they said that. No. <laughs>